What's up folks? This is Vinayak Matho from VM Graphics Solutions. In this video, I'll be showing you the basic user interface of 3D Studio Max, an Autodesk product. Before I get started with the user interface, I would like to clear one doubt amongst the most of the beginners, and one of which I also existed at some point of time, that people go to softwares which are free or go to pirated versions or cracked versions through torrent. If you want to start with 3D Studio Max or any Autodesk product, you can get a free 3 year subscription. You just have to go to your search engine and type in Autodesk free student subscription. And the first link you get, click on it, you land up on this page, choose your product, click on get software, like I'll go for 3ds Max. Now just two simple steps, that is sign up or sign in if you are already signed up on Autodesk, then select your server. Uh, Select a version of the software, language and the OS you're, you're going to use it on and click on install now or download as per your requirements. So you're getting a free 3 year subscription, official student license or any Autodesk product. So let's get back to the basic user interface of 3D Studio Max. So let's click on the icon and wait for it to boot up. This can take a lot of time depending of on the configurations of your system. I'm running this on a machine which is having 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 4 gigs of graphics card, NVIDIA GTX 860M. So it should technically not take much time, but can't help waiting. So I'll pause the video right here and get back when the software boots up. This is the screen which will which you will see when you open 3ds Max 2015 student version and right here you can see a start with this is a basic toolkit which Autodesk provides you to basically know the software if you're just a beginner you can go to this learn tab there are a couple of videos online resources which you can refer for your guidance one minute videos then this is the start place where you can set up a workspace type project folder, create a new scene or if you have already opened with a file you can just scroll through these and there's this extend option where you can find all these scripts and other online resources which you might want to use with your projects. So for now let's create a new scene and get started. All you can see here is the basic four view ports which is known as the quad view if you create any of the object you can see it in multiple view this one is perspective front top and left on your right side of the screen this big panel is called the command panel which has multiple options like create modify hierarchy motion display and utilities each of which has different options. We'll mostly start with create and modify panel tab, sorry. And we have to spend a lot of time to understand the basic 
working of all these because these are the basic stuff which you would require any kind of modeling you do in 3ds max whether it's modeling animation or whatever coming at the top this is your toolbar right over here this all you all the tools you require will be here, here on the second side the second row this is what is called as the ribbon if you're familiar with microsoft office 2013 you will be knowing what a ribbon is mostly known as or what it consists of these are mostly all the modeling toolkits you might require and these are the menu bars which you will get familiar the more you use this software and right over here this is the timeline as most animation softwares do have and I guess almost all softwares do have because without a timeline you cannot animate anything you can set keyframes auto keyframes or manual keyframes these are the X, Y and Z which show the position of the object you create and if you see if I move the cursor the positions or the values change now over here these are the playback settings of the animation we create number of frames filters etc which we want to use and if you want to change the type of the viewport like shift from chord view to different one you can just click over here and rename it save configuration as preset or go over here choose that kind of layout which you prefer preferably chord view is the best because you can see it from all sides at one screen probably if you create something like suppose I create a box over here this size isn't pretty enough, uh, big enough to work with so what I can do is I can press alt key or options key on Mac and W so this will maximize or minimize my viewport giving me a larger viewing scale also I can click on different ones and respectively press Alt W to maximize those tab viewports so these are the various parameters which I will get back to you in the next video where we start to model different objects for now this is the basic user interface of Autodesk 3ds Max 2015 student version and that's pretty much for this video if you like the video please hit the like button down below if you disliked it you're pretty much welcome to even click on the dislike button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and that's it thank you for watching bye bye